Libra, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 70 Tarot. Libra, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Libra, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot and stay tuned until the end of your reading where we'll pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on for you, Libra. First card, Queen of Wands. This is a reminder from your angels and guides that you have this ambitious, charismatic energy within you. Your soul that's been reincarnated thousands of times, you've done it all. You've had thousands of businesses, thousands of marriages, and right now they're reminding you to live your genuine, authentic self because when you do so, that is when you're the most magnetic and I see major, significant changes happening for you. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can always be connected to your higher self so you are so magnetic that all the abundance that is your birthright it manifests for you immediately. You don't have to wait for something. You stop waiting and instead you watch. You watch it manifest. And I'll give you an example. Imagine like waiting for pizza to get delivered. Not so fun, kind of anxious, right? But imagine watching someone make a pizza before your eyes. Whoa, I'm seeing it happen. That is what I'm gonna show you. That's the feeling you're going to have. Now check this out. You got the six of wands, the wheel of fortune. That's the travel card. Look at the abundance. You got the ace of pentacles, 10 of pentacles, nine of pentacles. Yes, please. Now you also, here's the resistance portion. Five of pentacles with the five of swords. That's a synchronicity, both those fives. And you also have the queen of cups. That's that's your empathic energy. Neither wants the star and the magician. I'm loving this so far with that strength card. Now, Libra, your affirmation for today is I am attracting money right now. Yes, you are. Quantum entangled with this energy. Affirmation means effortless attention. Use the law of attraction by writing this down in the comment section. I am attracting money right now. What you're doing is letting your angels and guides know I am ready for money. You're letting the universe know I welcome and invite money into my life. I command, assume, expect it, and who better to have money in their life than you, Libra. You're going to tip everyone. You're going to donate your stuff. When you are rich, when you're doing your thing and shining bright and leading by example, that is the energy that's going to help the world. So who better to be rich than you? Write this down in the comment section. I am attracting money right now. Yes, you are. Now, look at this. You got the 10 and 9 of pentacles. What are the odds of that? What's the synchronicity? Out of 78 cards, you got the 9 and 10 of pentacles. This goes to show that you are going to be monetizing a passion. You're going to be gifted a desire making enough money where you're going to be able to travel and do whatever you want. This is not something that just happens in the movies. This is something that happens to everyday folk. I'm gonna show you how to get this done. Now on top of this, you're going to be doing something you truly love. So it's not like you're like, oh, I don't like engines, but I'm gonna be a mechanic. No, no, no. You're going to wake up and tell yourself, I love doing what I do and I'm getting compensated for it. This energy is going to make you feel so happy, fulfilled, you're living your life's purpose and you're being compensated. You may tell yourself this sounds too good to be true. How can I get paid and do what I love? I'm letting you know right now, my wife Alicia and I were doing this. Right now, we make passive income. I'm gonna show you how to do it as well. We have Amazon businesses, we have Airbnbs, we have YouTube channels, we have retail businesses, we have all types of stuff. This is, we make money five different ways. Now, right now, I'm literally in Australia. The week before, I was in uh, South America. Eight days from now, we're in Thailand, and then seven days after that, we're in Dubai, and then we're in North America, and then we're going right back to South America, and then who knows after that. That. Why am I telling you this? I'm letting you know I'm a regular guy who figured out how to play this game in this fractal holographic universe using one of my techniques, which I'll show you right now. It's called the Wish Factory Technique. This right here, this is the bread and butter. You want something done, you do this. This energy right here, this is when you get right back on track, and this is when you, your soulmate, whoever you wish to, you're currently with or you want to be with, you guys are traveling the world, making money, you're getting paid for your time, you are living the life that you truly deserve. Because remember, your angels and guides, they want you to be a multimillionaire. Your angels don't want you to suffer. Your angels want you rich. Why? Because it's an experience. You are not meant to just be on planet Earth and feeling scarcity. This is just a moment, a contrast you're supposed 
lost the feel and be like, oh my goodness, gotcha. Hmm, I see how this is. What is the lesson? Okay, moving on. They just want you to figure out some experiences. This is what you signed up for, but they don't want you staying here. This is the problem. It's almost like, how do you know what, what hot is if you never experience cold? How do you know what joy is if you never experience pain? Now, what they don't want is for you to experience pain and hold on to it. Like they don't want you like touching something hot and be like, Sah! they don't want that. They want you to be like, whoa, gotcha. Don't like that. Not doing that. Moving on. That's what they want. I'm going to show you how to clear this energy. Now, before I do so, I want you to see that there is some sort of travel on your horizon. There's something here right now with that wheel of fortune and the fool. Your angels and guides want you to take the leap of faith and do some sort of traveling here. So you might be gifted some tickets and they want you to be able to use these tickets and not let fear come up with a reason why you shouldn't go traveling. Any reason why. We don't have the right time, blah, 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 blah. Don't listen to it when you are gifted these tickets or some opportunity presents itself for you to capitalize on it. Now, I'm going to show you with this wish technique, right? Wish factory technique, how to manifest anything you're looking for and no longer wait for it, but watch it manifest before your eyes. So imagine this. I want you to visualize that you will know a factory owner. This factory owner is magical, right? They have this factory that they create wishes. You're the only one who knows this person. Now, the factory owner says, listen, anything you want, any wish, I will go. I have a crew of guys that go and create whatever it is you're looking for, but I have two stipulations. The first stipulation is don't call even email or text me. I don't have time. I just want you to either think or feel it. I have telepathy. I know what you're looking for. You could be anywhere and I'll go get it going. Now, the second thing is, is make sure that when you send me this order, the specifications is exactly what you're looking for because I don't have time to double check the order, babysit it, or ask you whether or not you sure you want this because I don't know if this is good. I don't have time for that. So make sure when you contact me, you know what you're looking for. So you're like, cool, down, sounds good. So the next time you're out and about, you're walking, you see someone on a yacht, you're like, oh, I like the yacht. You're like, oh yeah, the factory owner. Okay, so what they want, they want me to feel it or something. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna visualize myself on the yacht. Okay, ooh, I'm here on the yacht. Ooh, there's dolphins outside. Oh, that's cool. All right, um, I'm gonna feel it. Mm, feels so good to be on this yacht. I definitely want this. Boom, now the factory owner has went and got started what you're looking for. But this is the most important part. In order for the factory owner to go do its job, you have to let it be. You can't change your mind, right? You can't be like, place the order. No, don't do it. Uh, uh, uh. You can't do that, right? You can't have the factory owner like start and stop shit. Now, I want you to replace the, replace the word factory owner for subconscious mind. And I want you to replace you for conscious mind. How it works is the conscious mind tells the subconscious mind what to do. The subconscious mind says, cool, I'm gonna go set it up. So for example, I want to get coffee, conscious mind. Subconscious mind goes, great, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, we're gonna go look at our phone, look at uh, Google reviews, we're gonna find the best coffee shop, and then we're gonna get in the car, punch in the GPS, go there, we're gonna tell the barista this. You know what I'm saying? So the subconscious mind always says yes and gets it done. This is how it works. So when you place an order, make sure you know what you want and make sure that you don't go back and forth. And then that's the thing, you know, a lot of times people say, well, what the heck, why have I not got what I want? is because what you're doing is telling the factory owner, get it for me, no, don't do it. Get it for me, no, don't do it. Get it for me, no, don't do it. And you, no, don't, don't do it. It's, I don't think it's gonna happen. Remember, the factory owner does not tell you like, hey, you know, are you sure, you know, you sure you don't think, is maybe you should think about that again. Be positive. The factory owner doesn't do that. So the subconscious mind will set stuff up. For example, you want a yacht, all of a sudden the factory owner's like, we need to make more money. How do we do it? Let's start a business. Okay, well, let's go ask anyone that we meet how to start a business. Or let's go ask people, do you know anything about yachts? And we'll decide subconscious mind will take care of it for you. But remember, you have to know what you're looking for, right? And you have to maintain that energy through thinking and feeling. And all you gotta do is just set it up once, right? Like the factory owner doesn't need a babysitter and you don't need to call it every single day. You just gotta set the intention and really it's an impression and then the expression happens through the subconscious mind. So conscious mind says, I want something, subconscious mind sets it up. Right? That's easy as pie. That's why controlling your thoughts is controlling your energy. And when you change your energy, you change your destiny. Now check out your animal spirit. This has to be one of my favorite cards in the world. Koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. First off, look at how snazzy she is. Oh my goodness. Look at her feather and her third eye. She's beautiful. Right now you gotta understand that spirit has a plan. Divine source, divine intervention, divine timing. Your angels and guides know what's best for you. You have to trust them. You have to let the universe deliver what it wants. All you have to do 
do is focus on your thoughts because your feelings control your emotions and your emotions control your outer world. All right, now final message from your spirit guides. Look at what they say, celebrate indifferences. And this is really talking about how you are more unique than a Picasso painting, which I'll show you why. Now, their message is, you understand that everything in life comes with polarity, even within yourself. Male, female, high, low, good, bad, light, dark. It is our differences that make us unique. We all come from the same collective and have all have the inner light of soul. What does this mean? Right now, Picasso paintings, right? There's like, what, at least a dozen? Okay, now how many of you is there? One in a trillion? Precisely. So, that really means that you are someone that is more rare than a Picasso painting. So, wear your hair the way you want, wear your nails the way you want. When I see someone wearing you know blue hair as they walk by me you know what I tell myself look at this piece of art that deserves to be in a museum I can I'm so grateful this person expressed themselves this way I wish I had the courage to do that for example so never worry about getting judged if someone judges you they're just not involved in your spiritual journey and bless them right so do what you want and then the universe will put you in that high vibration living your authentic genuine self is the quickest way to get there all right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.